about mandalas where do i begin yesterday was quite a day for me why you ask because well it was my failure sounds like a great achievement doesn't it well it was you'll find out how i'll begin with i'll begin with introducing myself hi i'm ski this year i found out that i want to be an artist and so far things have been going pretty great really what was i doing before being an artist or just engineering i loved it and then i didn't and after a bit of searching for the thing that i want to do in my life i stumbled upon this thing called art you see it was there as a hobby in my life i did paint here and there during my college days then i had come very close to it though late 2021 i was thinking of becoming an animator or a vfx engineer blender artist and then my most favorite thing of that time a virtual reality engineer it was both engineering plus artistry sounds ideal right so i waited for it for the course to start and i waited and i waited and i kept waiting meanwhile i started taking a few mooc courses on it and god was it difficult it seems like engineering times 2 or 3 or maybe even 4 matrix matrix algebra rotations transforms light and optics lens aberration visual physiology visual perception tracking systems visual rendering and my mind got messed up and i quitted it because wow i mean why would i learn to do all of this am i so into matter i mean i came back into existentialism you see growing up i have noticed a few things about my life two things happened to me i'm either flowing with life or i am into existentialism you know deeply wondering what it is i'm doing why is it i'm doing it and when i'm in the latter space i notice that whatever i'm doing that isn't my calling when i'm just sitting and questioning and thinking in terms of why what how when and when i don't ask questions that's when i know that thing is meant for me it's the point i reach where i surpass my logical mind and i just go for it so the beginning of this year i started taking art classes one and then other and then other and i notice that i'm flowing with it and my mind is at ease it wants to learn this very thing that i'm learning in fact it's quite open to learning but as before well it knew it knew better 
it wanted me to course correct. So finally art happened and now I'm on a journey to be and now I'm on a journey to becoming a freelance artist. So coming back to mandalas, my day started out pretty great. I journaled for a bit. I wrote the quote of the day, something to live by. And I started watching tutorials about how to draw a mandala. And so it started out pretty great. Drawing a circle, using a compass, drawing a few lines using a ruler. It was fun. And then I'm supposed to mark a point here and there. Okay, make a few arcs. Make petals, make dots, draw a few lines. This seems to be the easiest form of mandala. It's turning out pretty great, I think. So then, what went wrong? My logical mind. It started getting frustrated. Why? Isn't drawing a mandala supposed to be a therapeutic experience? Yes. But am I able to flow with it? No. Why not? Because deep down I feel it's sacred geometry. Something that attracts me. Yet I don't understand it. What does this code, this pattern, mean? What kind of language is this? Who makes these patterns? Where does it come from? It's like how when we are kids, we're trying to learn to write ABCs. It's the same thing, except it's a different language. Every pattern is a word, a thought, a sentence. What word was I drawing then? Or was I able to write or speak its language properly? Nope. I feel it's not about just the lines or dots or petals. I feel it's higher intelligence and I feel I don't know their language. It's like a person who doesn't know that there is a thing called Morse code and he has got a text that reads something like this. It's that person seeing this over and over again and not able to make out what it means and he's getting frustrated over it because he senses a deep connection to it. He wants to know the meaning of it, yet he's not able to. That's how I felt while drawing this mandala. I want to dive deep into it, but I'm not at that level yet. So, I made another one. It looked pretty okay to me, but I wasn't satisfied with it. Currently, I'm going to drop this idea of making mandalas. But in future, I think I'm going to come back to it. I will read a few books on it. I'll try to bring math, geometry, spirituality and art together and then maybe learn this language one day this was all too serious I guess a bit too far from art or should I say general art but on a lighter note I feel mandalas are really beautiful 
the artists who make it, they have these qualities of patience, creativity, and most importantly, surrender. I feel if I zoom into anything in the universe deep, deep enough, maybe I will see a mandala in it somewhere. That pattern that communicates something. I don't know yet. So, I will let mandalas come to me rather than me going to them. So, let's see when I draw the next one and how. That will be another story. Until next time.